Hey, this is Aaron with Bushcraft Devotions and here with another knife review. Some of you already know what this is. To me, this is the ultimate bushcraft survival knife that you can get. And I rank this up there with the Buck 124 Frontiersman, although it's a little bit longer. And also you have other cheaper versions of really good survivor knife like the Schrade SCHF 45 Leroy. But this one has, has video upon video, people using these, and it is a awesome knife. This is the K-Bar Becker BK9 Combat Boy. It is the Ethan Becker design. So let's take a look at that just right off the bat. This is the, the sheath that comes in. Now, a lot of people really down the sheath. I mean, it's like you gotta be on the bandwagon to down the sheath. You can get another sheath for it. You can order like a Kydex sheath. And this is a sample of a Kydex sheath. And just a, this is a two part. And it fits in there really snug. Not sure belt loop there and you got your water drainage right there so th they are really nice and they are protected i have one for it and you can put it in a molly bag and you can put other things on it like fire sticks compasses things that you would want on it so you can build things on this as well but for what it comes with it has some versatility and things that you can use with it and such as it does have the leg tie down holes down here it does have straps you could put in a molly bag you can put your belt through here, or what's kind of nice is you can do that. So you can take, put on and off the knife without even having to take off your belt. So that's a good option to have. It does have a pouch here that you can put things in. You can put fire starters and things like that in there as well, matches. And it does have a place right here that you can actually put a BK-13 knife, smaller knife, right in there. And um, something I might plan to do still. Has a little bit of rattle. It does have a button retention. Now what's nice about this button retention, I think when they first came out, a lot of people were cutting this because it was staying up. So what they did was they made a Velcro. So when you open it, you press that and that will keep that away from the blade as you put it in. Nice. All right, so that's the sheet. This is the knife itself. It overall length is 11 and 3 fourth inches. The blade length itself is 9 inches, hence the BK9. The weight is 1.05 pounds. Hefty knife but it's heft for a reason. I'm the knife right about there. And that's where you're gonna want it because of what this knife is designed for. It is 1095 Crovan High Carbon Steel. It does have a coating. Now, it, the coating is a rougher coating. And like some of the other knives you have, they're smoother. This is more rough and they made it that way so it will cling onto the knife more for more rugged use. It is a clip point with a flat grind. The blade is very nice in that it does have a little jimping on the top and it's not too aggressive. It is just almost perfect. Now there's no choil, so be careful of that. Now you can use this though and doing feather sticking, you have no problem with it because the handle gives you some extra grip. Now you can do this as well. Cup your thumb around the handle because it has a little lip there and that gives you some extra. And so whether you like to use the jimping or to do something like that, it's totally up to you. Now it is a full exposed tang. So that blade, what you're seeing there is the blade itself. Now it is skeletonized, which means there's gonna be about a hole here and a hole here. Now, of course, there you have the, your nuts here. Now the reason they do that is they want the heavier part of the blade on the blade itself. So they took it away from the handle with use those skeletonized parts. The handle comes all the way through the handle. So it's exposed here. So you can use that to break glass, bust open nuts, drive in tent pegs. Also has a lashing hole right here. So you can put paracord 
kind of around your, your, your hand. So when you're batoning, whether you're holding it here or you're batoning, holding it back here a little bit, you're gonna have that extra security of it not flying out of your hand. The handle is made of gribery. So it's a plastic, but it minimizes hand fatigue. The shape of this handle with the swell there, you got the little indents here, and you have that uh, little guard on the front, hook on the back. It just stays in your hand so comfortably. Now, I am a big fan, once again, of the Buck 124 Frontierman, but the handle is a little bit squared. It still is a great knife, but the handle feeling of this one is just so much better. I can see uh, bushcrafting with this one and working with it all day long and not getting tired. Now, a lot of people uh, like this knife because of the versatility. Once again, you can change out the sheath with the Kydex sheath. You can change out the handle with micarta handles. You can find those online as well. Easy to change out, so you can change those out at will. Other people do things like they strip the coating completely off the knife and make it a shiny metal. Now be careful with that. The reason they have coating is because since this is carbon steel, as opposed to stainless steel like the 420HC, uh, stainless steel the buck uses with the Paul Balls heat treatment, those have a keep a really good edge, but it also has uh, some more corrosion resistance and rust resistance. Carbon steel does not. That's why they have that coating on there. And even with the coating, even with the blade, it's just, just the blade part itself. And anytime right after you use this, if you can, wash the blade off. Make sure there's no water or debris on it, dry it thoroughly, and then put oil on it as well when you're storing it. And the reason for that is, is, is to keep the rust. If you're stripping this blade and it's just pure metal, if you don't dry that blade within half an hour to an hour after you use it, you're gonna start getting rust spots. So be careful. You wanna protect your blade. You wanna respect your blade so your blade will respect you. It is made in the United States of America. So they have the Becker, K-Bar, Ole, New York, United States of America. So what is this knife used for? Well, anything. There is a knife philosophy that a lot of people say they like knives that are that are shorter. And but I'm like one if if you have one tool that you're gonna take out, maybe it's a bug out situation, maybe you're hunting and you know, maybe you get lost, you you don't have a lot of stuff on you, you don't have a hatchet, you don't have an axe. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're gonna go camping, bushcrafting, they have a large hatchet, small axe. Use that to split your wood, use that to chop. But if you don't have it, this knife will do it. You can use this knife to chop. And there's plenty of videos on, uh, on the internet about that. You can use this knife to baton. You can, this, which is to split wood. You can use this knife for all kinds of things. And what I like about large knives, if you have a small knife and you need a large knife and you don't have one, you have to look. But if you have a large knife that's also versatile enough that you can use it for small things, hey, you can use this for food prepping. You can use this for feather sticks. You can use this to carve little things. And if you have a paracord around this, put your arm in it and hold it up here. You see what I'm doing? And you can use it for fine tuning too. Just little, little things with the tip of the blade. It comes real sharp out of the box. It will stay sharp but as well as you can continue to sharpen this as often as you want or need. But yeah, so you can use this for bushcrafting. You can use it for all kinds of things like that, for batoning, for chopping, delimbing, tent pegs, sharpening spears, doing all kinds of anything you need to do around a camp and bushcraft, you can do. But you can also use this for defense. That clip point, is a strong clip point. It is very durable. So if you need to use this for uh, stabbing or even stabbing things around the camp, it will work fine. For slashing, it will work fine. This knife is so sharp, I'll tell you what, I was just doing uh, something with it one day and I was just, I think I was cleaning the blade, putting some oil on it, and I just barely, my fingers somehow barely touched the blade and it cut. And uh, so be careful with that knife. So 
This knife can, is so strong. I have seen people take this and break cinder blocks. I have seen people shove this blade through metal ammo containers. I have seen people use this a baton. I've seen people baton six, seven inch in diameter logs. It is a power house. And so it is one of the best survival bushcraft knives out there. So if you can get the K-Bar Becker BK9 Combat Boy, I do have affiliate link in the video description. So you can go there, click it, and go ahead and buy it. And so this is a nice knife. In fact, I bought my wife this one too. And here's her picture. <laughs> Had to show you that because we're going to go camping and doing some bushcrafting as well. And so why not have your wife to have the same type knife as yourself? Hey, I thank you for watching. If you enjoy things like this, hey, share it with your friends. And I ask you just to go ahead and like the video, hit subscribe, and also hit the bell for notifications of other videos. Hey, thank you for watching. God bless.